Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 33 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering or introducing the concept of linked lists. So in the last tutorial, I showed you how to create your own data structure or data structures, but in this tutorial, we're going to show or I'm going to show you how to link them all together or create a list out of them. So what that basically means is that I can create multiple objects and contain them in sort of a list. So let's just get started with the tutorial here. Uh, we'll start out by creating our own header file. I've created mine here and I just called it linkedlist.h. So I've already created a pound define as well, kmax length for our character array that I'm going to create in the struct. So let's just start out with the struct keyword and we are going to be creating a struct called person which will hold um, the name of the person and basically just a number to identify by. Uh, there's no real reason but uh, I'm just throwing the number in there anyway. So um, we'll just say int num and then we'll create our character array called name to hold the person's name and there's kmax length for our um, our person's name and now here comes the all important part for linked lists so just follow along with this part I'm just gonna write the whole thing out and then I will explain so just write out struct and then person and then we are pointing to another person so I'm just gonna create a pointer called next so what this basically means is that in our struct person, when we create a new person, we will have all these characteristics inside that person. And that person will also contain basically a pointer to point to the next person in the list. So that's all this really means. Struct person and the pointer next. This pointer is just pointing to another person object or another person struct. So if we created three structs, the first person would have the struct here and the pointer would point to the second person in the list then the second person looks the exact same like this they'd have another pointer and their pointer would point to the third person and this would continue until we eventually get to the last person and that's the end of the list so this um, this next pointer would have a null value because there are no more people left in the list so that's basically uh, how the linked list works. So now let's go ahead and finish this off with a semicolon. Save the file and let's go back into our main.c file here. Now let's create um, our structs or our pointers I should say to the structs. In the last tutorial I showed you that you could just create um, a new struct but with linked list, you want to pretty much work everything through pointers. And I will show you how to create um, the people later on, but that's for the next tutorial. So what we're going to do here is just do like we usually do, and type out struct, and then person. And now we have to create three pointers. One called head, and it doesn't actually matter what you call them, but um, it's more understood by other programmers. Um, what you're talking about if you use these ones. So pointer head, another pointer to tail, another pointer to something like the current pointer. So if you don't understand what this means, basically this is your brief breakdown of what this means. There's a pointer to the, uh, the pointer for head basically means the first object or the first person in your list. So the head pointer always points to the first thing. The tail pointer always po points to the very last object in your list. That's how you know that the list is basically over. So these two are the beginning of your list and the end of your list. And the current pointer just changes as we go along. And um, you'll see how this all works in the next tutorial. But that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it. The next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually create the people. And I'll show you how to assign each pointer to that memory for each person. So again, what we've learned so far in this tutorial is that linked lists, we have to create a pointer in each struct object to point to the next object in the list. So if we had two persons that we wanted to point to, or two people, whatever, 
um, we create one person and then we have to point using the next pointer in that person we use this pointer to point to the next person in the list so that's how the list works and again we have we create three pointers a head pointer for the start of the list a tail pointer always pointing to the end of the list and the current pointer changes uh, dynamically with the program now I've seen uh, different variations of this but um, this the way this one works is basically it sets it up better from the first to the end um, it, it's pretty logical in the way it works too so I like the way uh, this one's set up but anyway um, the next tutorial will be on actually creating the memory for each person because all we have so far is pointers so the next tutorial will be on creating the actual people and how to assign all these pointers and basically on how the lists are actually going to work. So uh, stay tuned for the next lesson and if you have any comments or questions I should say, uh, leave them in the comments of this video and I'll be happy to respond. Alright, see you next tutorial.